welcome to room 1711 1711 at the Holiday Inn Express just off Blanc Street in Sheffield City Centre we're here for two nights for the bank holiday weekend in late May and we have paid £128 for two people for two nights with booking.com and that's bed and breakfast so we've got a good deal and a nice modern hotel fairly usual standard Holiday Inn Express fixtures and fittings but seems decent so we'll start at the beginning so as you come in you need to place your card there for the electric there's the bathroom we'll go there shortly Immediately upon entry, there's your coat hook and a full length mirror for incoming and outgoing inspection. Beneath that is a plug socket if you've got things to charge. And down there is a hairdryer for the ladies. Or, of course, those gentlemen who like to preen. Then we have tea and coffee making facilities. I always fancy saying this in the Alan Partridge way of tea and coffee, but yeah anyway um, and then we've got a couple of towels which is literally just a couple of towels there's no wardrobe but we do get the uh, coat hangers and the open fake wardrobe affair uh, one two three four five six and then we've got heating stroke air conditioning and some modern artwork we then come to the bed and it's a lovely wide bed and again look at the width of the pillows in relation to the width of the bed so you could comfortably sleep three in there but there's just going to be two of us tonight and so down next to the bed we have the lamp and beneath the lamp is the plug socket so that's the second plug socket if you've got things to charge and on the other side of the bed we have another plug socket bedside light and telephone with complimentary paper and pen which I'll recycle and use in a geocache and then we have just here the corner seating unit and a cushion and then a nice uh, chair and desk office style and the flat screen TV above it and two more plug sockets there so I've come across one two three five plug sockets all together so that's fine more than ample for most people we have a window here and a wall there disguised by the curtain if I, I asked for a room on a high floor with a view of the river and oh, so I'm just trying to work out how this actually works there we go and I got a room on a high floor with a view which does indeed incorporate the river Don flowing underneath the bridge through the centre of Sheffield. So £128, two nights, bed and breakfast, bargain. Although I will say, it does state the rooms are soundproofed, but as we were in the corridor about to enter, the doors are evidently not soundproof because the couple over the corridor were making a little bit of noise. Rather amorous noise at that. Anyway, let's have a look in the bathroom. Okay, so here's the bathroom. Rather black and white and shiny and modern. Well, what can I say? It's got the uh, a very generous sized shower cubicle, as you can see. You can have a little party in there. A textured floor. And there is a towel which is for outside. Small step down, no grab rails, but it looks sturdy enough to be grabbing hold of. There's another towel or pair of towels in here. And then you have the usual loo roll, tissue, cup, toilet, and round sink made by Vitra. Vitra. Never heard of them before. It was all armoured shanks in my day. And there's the shaver plug. Just 
just there, international socket also and pink homogeneous cleaning gel gel in the shower, oh you get white homogeneous cleaning gel in the shower okay but nice and modern nice and clean little corner shelving unit to put your bits and bobs on if you've got any bits and bobs oh and another one for him one for her and one for tall and one for short one thing i haven't mentioned is the parking it was eight pounds per night if you're a non-resident and for residents it's five pounds per night don't put money in the machine pay at reception right now off to explore those decent real ale boozers around Sheffield City Centre. I will be back.